The, the zip format is a highly successful file format which compresses files, multiple files, into a single file. The basic format of it uh, is that it has a standard header and what we see at the start of it is this uh, four byte uh, signature. As this is an Intel type machine then we're using the Little Indian format which means that the least significant byte uh, comes first. So we see 50, 4B, 03, 04 is the, the, the header, is the basic header file for uh, header signature for a, a, a zip file. And then after that we see the version that's required to be able to abstract the, uh, the zip file. Then we see some general purpose flags, the compression method, and so on. So this is the, the basic format here that we would actually see and we should see the file name appearing uh, later on here. So let's have a, a look at an example. It's unfortunate it's already been used. So I'll just open up another zip file. And here we are. So there's the there's the four byte signature that we look for, the version number and, and so on. So I'll have a look at the, the website and see if we can detect the contents of the file. Okay, so there is the the signature we're looking for. There's the version, the flags, modification time. Uh, we have our basic error uh, correction system, and there's the name of the file there. Okay, so we can do a very simple header analysis, and we've detected this is a zip file, and so there's what the, the actual file format looks like. And we can see here there's one of the file names with inside uh, the file. So we'll have a look at the code that's associated with this. Okay, so we, we read in the, the file into our byte array. The first three bytes, we in this case we're converting to hexadecimal to be able to display it. And we should be able to detect this as a header. The version number comes next with its two bytes. Two bytes for our flags. The compression method comes in here next, and so on, until we see the file name length and some extra things in there. And it's at this point here that we'll actually see the, the file name. Uh, and byte 26 in this case is actually defining the, the length of the file name. So we just iterate through the bytes until we actually find the file. Okay, so this provides basic overview of the zip file format.